Number two, you're going to use the parallelogram of JKLM to find each measure or value. You know that JK is 2B plus 3 and JM it is 3A. Okay, it is already labeled for you. So A, you are looking for the angle measurement of MJK. So I'm going to locate that right here of MJK is located right here. So you know that angle J has to be congruent to angle L because opposite angles in a parallelogram are congruent. So we know that angle L is equal to 30 plus 70, which is going to be 100 degrees. Therefore, angle J is also going to be 100 degrees. So we could say that this is equal to 100 degrees. Next, we have angle JKL. JKL is located right here in the blue. JKL, which is this part. We know that angle K plus angle L has to be equal to 180 because the consecutive interior angles for a parallelogram are supplementary. We know that angle L is 100 degrees. So we can now solve for angle K by subtracting 100 to both sides. Then we have angle K is equal to 80 degrees. Then we have, what is the value of A? Well, we know that we can, we notice that JM is congruent to line KL because the opposite pairs are congruent for the sides. So JM has 3A and KL is 21. If we divide 3 to both sides, we get A is equal to 7. So A is equal to 7. All right. I did A, C, and E first, all right? All right, I'm gonna zoom in here so we can do um, JML. JML is right here, I'm gonna mark that in green. JML, okay? We know that that has to be congruent to um, angle M. So angle um, M has to be congruent to angle K. And I think we already know what angle K is, yep. Angle JKL is 80, so we know that this has to be also equal to 80 degrees. Then we have angle KJL, J, K, L. We have that, right? Did I write, uh, wait, hold on, J, J, K, L. And this one is L, is K, J, L. M, J, K, L, J, L, M, oh, K, J, L, oh, K, J, L is right here, K, sorry, K, J, L is this part, okay, they're just looking for this part, so, we know this is 30, so it's going to tell you about this opposite one, so that's also going to be 30, so angle J, K, J, L, it is 30 degrees, and we want to find a value for angle B. Let's set up the equation. We know that line JK is going to be congruent to line ML. JK, it is 2B plus 3. And ML, it is 45. So now we can solve for B. Let's subtract 3 to both sides. This gets you 2B equals to 42. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. This gets you B is equal to 21, All right? So there you go. That is how you solve for different values given a parallelogram.